Let's talk about vasculitis and how it affects your kidneys. Vasculitis is a group of diseases that all cause inflammation of the blood vessels like arteries, veins, and capillaries. When blood vessels are inflamed, it's harder for blood to get through to organs and tissues, which can eventually damage organs and tissues. Vasculitis can affect different parts of the body, including the kidneys. Vasculitis is an autoimmune disease, which means in some forms of vasculitis, your body's immune system is mistakenly attacking your own tissues. Anyone can have vasculitis. We aren't sure what causes it. Some types of vasculitis, called renal vasculitis, can damage the filters in your kidneys, called glomeruli. Glomeruli are formed by the tiny blood vessels called capillaries, and they filter waste out of your body. Over time, this can lead to kidney disease. There are two main types of renal vasculitis, microscopic polyangiitis, or MPA, which can lead to damage in your kidneys, joints, lungs, nerves, and skin, among other organs, and granulomatosis with polyangiitis, or GPA, which can lead to damage in your kidneys, lungs, eyes, ears, and sinuses, among other organs. Symptoms of vasculitis can vary depending on the type of vasculitis, but you can't tell what kind you have only based on symptoms. Unfortunately, vasculitis can be hard to diagnose. It's important to advocate for yourself and ask your doctor about different types of testing, especially if you have kidney disease but don't know the cause. Kidney symptoms include bloody urine, swelling in your legs and feet, itching, and a metallic taste in your mouth. Your doctor may do a blood test, urine test, CT scan, or a biopsy to find out if you have vasculitis and which type you have. While there's no cure, there are ways to manage vasculitis. This can mean medicine and lifestyle changes, like following a healthy eating plan, staying active, limiting alcohol, and quitting tobacco use. To learn more, visit kidneyfund.org vasculitis.